Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Battle Brothers. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today as, uh, well, I'm, I'm not there, but that's because we're literally not there. This is our location, I just pressed shift. Shift is a really good handy key to center on, uh, on your character, and uh, if you, you can zoom in or out. Uh, but you can't, I think you can't, no, can you not go sideways? You cannot, maybe, mm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Let's unpause and let's continue, because last episode, we got attacked by some goblins. It's the first time we get attacked by go goblins, and that's a good thing. We also learned about um, the prices of things, and uh, you know what? I'm actually going to spend a little bit of money. Let's see, our tools are good. We can buy relatively cheap things. It's nothing amazing right now, which is unfortunate, but we can we can deal with that. We can deal with that. Oh, by the way, our objective, because I had to, I didn't get the same objective, so now our objective, instead of being hiring somebody, which is kind of a good thing to do, I will try to hire somebody. Right now, it's to buy and sell trading goods. So I wonder what buying and selling means. Let's find out. Let's uh, buy and s buy a couple. Uh, the thing is, uh, it is a long journey. It's five days to the north. It is so long. It is so long. I really want to have the money ready for, for this. Uh, but look at that. Buying works for two. So when I sell it, it'll, it'll work for four, most likely. So it isn't buying and selling trading goods. It's actually buying or selling trading goods. So off go the bad people. And are they not going to show up? I kind of wanted to kill them. Aw. Well, oh, we're faster than the other caravans. I mean, that's a good thing. Admittedly, but it is interesting as well. Anyway, we're it's a big adventure. We're gonna get a bunch of money out of it, and uh, hopefully we'll s sell things immediately here in Himmelstadt. Let's find out. Do they like me? They, they do. Look at this. This is good prices. They also sell dyes. That's good. I can buy the dyes and sell them up north. I would think. Um, let's see if they have any body. Ooh, Dawnbird over here being a hunter and all. That is beautiful. Alfred. Alfred being a hunter as well. Uh, but Dawnbird is higher level. So I would want to buy him first. But then again, maybe I wouldn't? Let's calculate here. Let's do a calculated risk. So the, the money that I'm going to pay is not going to let us... Yeah, that's a shame. Well, we're holding off. That, that, there's a lot of footsteps around here. There's a lot of battle sites. And there's brigands. It's my favorite. It's my favorite because I know them well. And they probably have ranged... Yes, they have ranged fighters. Um, hmm. Let's see. I want to... Where? Who are we defending? We're not defending anyone. No, no, we are. Gearhead. No, we're not. Where? Oh, the conscripts up here. Being all conscripty and whatnot. Shouldn't there be another one? There's three of them. Who am I missing here? Oh, the donkey. I'm, I am keep saying donkey. I'm sorry. Donkey. Let's uh, hope that we don't get hit. We did get hit, but that's a shield hit. So it doesn't count. Uh, this is actually a good defense. These guys are weird. So let's find out what happens to you when you get an arrow to the face. Nothing. Because he didn't get an arrow to the face. They're going to stay in the back. This is weird, isn't it? The shield... Oh, that's a beautiful shield. I want that. Um, the shield wearers are staying behind. Oh, don't do that, you idiot. Because they're... Oh, my God. You're freaking Satan. You are literal Satan. I, sh I just did a bad as well. Maybe I didn't. The idea is to send Bernard around... Um, so how do I want to do this? Move in here. Yeah. <gasps> Scare you a little bit. So I can't do that. I mean, I can. It's just, uh, Brian goes in, kills that guy in the face. Uh, many gurgling. Uh, and then I move in here. Let's see. You have double grip. You don't have a shield. Oh, hi. Now you're going to need to reload, aren't you? Okay, send Elias in there. Elias, unfortunately, just needs... I'm afraid for Elias' life all the time. 
Okay, so the Knight at Arms goes in. 77 actually lands. Fantastic. That's a brilliant hit. Uthuru goes in. Very happy. And that's uh, that guy over there is very un uh, unhappy. Speaking of states of mind. Okay. Ooh. I mean, it's only fair that they're going around because it's going to be difficult for Phineas over there to move. And it is not going to be difficult for Bernard over there to move. What are you guys going to do, you idiots? Go save... Oh, yeah, you're taking damage. No, that's good news. That is a good thing. It's a good thing because we saw it happen. And uh, we don't usually do that. 22% shoot! Ah. Reload and shoot. No, you didn't? Wait, how does that work? Anyway, 65... Couple of hits. That is bad news. Please don't break my shield. That thing is expensive. Um, so I would like to attack you here. Let's see what I can do. 49 actually lands. Uh, and uh, we got a 49 lands both of them. And they are almost dead. Okay, so you can't go around. But you will. Uh, you are... This guy's about to die because he's going to flee. So this guy over here, 75, is dead. Uh, and Brian goes in here, stuns this guy just for good measure. Uh, Phineas has his armor a little bit on the downside. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not a fan of that. Uh, okay, Knight at Arms keeps moving up because I want to attack next turn. And Med Larkin moves in. Uh, he can't go here. No, this guy's stunned. I can. Okay, hopefully I'll st scare this guy. I did not scare this guy. I scared him now. That guy, ooh, that's a weird decision. He should have moved over there. That is a kill. Oh. What a weird decision. Hmm. Hmm. Get a dog out of here, Elias. Okay, and then you go over there. I think they're trying to hit, uh, to hurt my, uh, my donkey. Don't hurt my donkey. Oh, that guy's upset about it. Oh, look at you! Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see. 28. Landed once for... Okay, that's great, actually. Uh, so, Knight at Arms gets another hit. Not a kill. Unfortunate. Bernard goes in around the back. Uh, you could go over there. And uh, I might do that because it's not likely that I'll do anything else. And then I'll try to help out up there. Phanius over here. Uh, shield wall just in case. And that guy dies. And then Elias. Well, Elias has a dog in front of him. Okay, speaking of dogs, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, good. Not attacking the dog. That's an attack on the dog. Trying to pierce? That's really weird. Is that a normal attack? I don't think it is. I think that's the special pierce armor attack. Why'd you do that on somebody without armor? Am I mistaken on that? That guy's trying to flee. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Um, okay, I might be mistaken on that. That guy's scared. Uh, let's move Uthuru over here. Miss this. Unfortunate. Uh, let's, uh, let's... Oh, I can't do much. Oh, well. Metal Arkin goes up there. You stabbed that guy a couple of times. Unfortunately, don't break my shields. Unfortunately, it didn't quite pan out as I had wanted it. And Brian goes in. And Phanius gets his revenge. And everybody is dead. Oh, Knight at Arms. Nobody can do anything else, I don't think. Run them down. It's my... There it is. The dog ate his face. And we leveled up and got some... Pretty decent stuff. The and axe is the good helmet. Or good helmet. The good axe. Uh, we got a dagger. Uh, we got a falchion. That's pretty good. The short sword, not as much. Um, some money, some grain. Mm, just generally good things. I tell you, fighting up here in the north, it's a lot be It's a lot better for, for our equipment. So, in terms of helmets, what do we want? Well... You are going to get that, uh, and at the back, we have these, because I think they're better. Uh, there we go. There we go. Much better. And uh, let's see. You, not at arms, hopefully are going to get resolve. Let's find out. Uh, not bad resolve. Not amazing either. So not really what I'm looking for in a, uh, in a, um, a good initiative, though. 
Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, in a sergeant. So, are we getting... Did we get brawny for you? We did not get brawny for you. We're going to go with the backstabber uh, and uh, the sergeant skill. I think it's later in the game. The one that basically you will, uh, you're allowed to increase the morale of everybody around you. It's a very powerful and important skill to have. Okay, so you have that. You have a knife. You don't have a knife. You have this. What a terrible decision on my part. Why would I ever do that? Um, okay, so... It's good enough. These don't lower your fatigue, so I'm not really too interested in that. Uh, our shields are going to be fixed, so that's also pretty good. We have, of course, to fix a lot of these weapons to get the most out of them in terms of money. And I say a lot of these weapons, it's only two of them, three of them. But still, uh, the short bow, short bow is pretty decent. I might want to fix it to sell it. Let's go ahead and do that, and I am good. One thing, look at this, look at this thing, this quiver of bolts. One thing you can do with quiver of, uh, with with these things, you, is you can equip the ones uh, that are lower, and the game will automatically fill your ammunition. So because we have so much ammunition, we have definitely ammunition to spare. All you need to do is do that, and do you see that disappear? It's because it's that, and it's done. Uh, it's very handy. Sometimes it's important to do that before you sell. I don't think it actually sells for more or less. It should sell for more, since it has more ammunition. But I don't know if it does. So we're waiting around a little bit. And we're moving on victorious and happy. And uh, hopefully... Well, did I forget about leveling up anybody? I did not. And hopefully rich. Soon to be rich, anyway. Oh, this is bad news. An argument breaks out when the southerners in the company start, spoke, start poking fun at their northern brothers' lack of articulation. Because they speak poorly. One mimics with his hands splayed out at his ears. With all talks like this size, you sure ain't y'all ready to come on to some such some bitch, right? Die. Ain't it, ain't it, ain't it. Fisticuffs and the gesturing. Uh, rather, not end. Well, I mean, not with an A. Fisticuffs end the gesturing. A few are bruised with in the exchange, but you manage to break it up before it gets more serious. More importantly, nobody loses morale. Why can't we all just get along? Well, we are getting along. It's just that you guys are all probably jerks in general and don't know how to have fun without poking fun at other people. And just, that's how it works, isn't it? Isn't it? Hmm? Ain't it, ain't it, ain't it? It's kind of funny that they do that, actually. <laughs> I, I like the, the way the... Uh, I like the way the uh, the Southerners talk, but I don't think it is the correct talk. I'm pretty sure all those over verbiages, over verbiages. I'm talking like a Southerner now. Um, I'm pretty sure that they're, they're all sort of goofy and not real and not correct grammar. The drinks over in Airdfall are way better than the cat piss they serve here, says the patron. Say the patrons over here. Now, how far away are we? We're far enough away that uh, it's yeah. Well, I can't do anything really about this, and we have all the things fixed, so, um, why is the militia over there? Hmm. So, hopefully, we'll get attacked again on our way there. Oh, there's skeletons. I, uh, am not a fan. Oh, and they seem to have messed up a, a couple of people on the way. Oh my god, this is a terrible place. This is a terrible place to be, which is good news, because that means there's, uh, jobs for a mercenary. Bad news for everybody else, though. I mean... Except the monsters, I suppose. We did see a bunch of uh, bunch of people. Look at that! Almost didn't make it, and I was right in uh, in not buying too many things. Reaching Fuxburg, the caravan leader strikes up a conversation as if that you two might have something in common. He talks of his younger days when he was a spry young man who could have done this or that. He apparently misses missed out on a lot of fighting. What a shame! Bored with his talk, you ask the men to pay you so you can get on with, uh, get on out of this wretched place. You have two of those. It's all, it always confuses me supremely, but it works well enough. It's in proper English, and we're uh, very rich. Uh, I don't think they like the dyes here. Hmm. They do like their uh, tools, and I have my dogs, so I will buy their dogs. Oh, this is just lovely. Yeah, they are very happy to have us, uh, which might mean that we are very happy to sell our things to them. So, falchion, scimitar... Do I want to sell the scimitar? Because these are proper. I want the pickaxe. I'll sell that. I'll sell this. That's just... Let's keep that around. We might need it if we want a crosswoman. 
Uh, but maybe not. So we have a new dog. Uh, I need to sell these. Okay. And I have a lot of money. Not that it's gonna help too much, but yeah. So in terms of who has the dog. Mm. People who are not very good at fighting. That's generally how it goes. It's gonna be Mad Larkin, even though he's, he's pretty handy. Uh, now, who has... Ah, uh, bandages. We don't... Yeah. Good. Okay. So, food is a consideration that we have to take on. So, let's see. We have a weaponsmith over here. With a unique weapon over there. Sir Dunkwart's Gasher. It's really great that we can buy the unique weapons, as I said before. We got some interesting things over there. And... Oh, beautiful. We have higher level people. We have uh, Valdemar over here. Hiccups. I also have hiccups. We have Arnie over here. He's a boyer. Okay, I don't need boyers. I need the archers. Uh, Guntram Redmeat. He's a butcher. Yeah, I need I need the archers, really. Let's see what the marketplace has for us, if it has anything interesting, I don't, uh, apart from the things that we looked at already. Uh, it has food, but we really should get the better food, shouldn't we? Roots and berries. Uh, this would be like lux lux luxurious food for me, but I don't think it is. Easy to come by and durable. Yeah, it's not the most exciting. Yeah, so that is the fine food. Mushrooms. Pickled mushrooms. Mm, okay, that's pretty decent. Uh, so we got a little bit of that. Um, I think we're good in most other regards. Let's see. So where would we want to go next? Well... We know Hewland. We have been here before, for one thing, but we know Hewland has somebody that uh, we uh, we are gonna want to hire, most likely. And hopefully, they like our dyes a little bit better, because I really don't want to eat the loss. We're not gonna eat the loss. And we had to pay some money, and they have quests for us, and uh, they hate the dyes. They really, really don't like the dyes. Their prices are outrageous. Which is maybe good. As you settle into the room, Goswin the councilman finishes a goblet of cobra wine. While walking the roads, brigands swarmed my wagon and made off with all my goods. They left me my life, which is fine, but the gall of what they did kept me up at night. I see this, their sneering faces, hear their laughter. I believe it was a message to go after me because I refused to pay their... Tolls. He does air quotes. Well, now I am ready to pay a toll to you, Cell Sword. If you go and slaughter these vagabonds, I'll pay a tidy toll indeed. What say you? I say uh, that's very cheap, but I accept. Uh, I shall drive these brigands off. And do you guys have a taxidermist and a tavern? I've been hearing folk tell of eyes watching them from the forest's edge. It seems to be some vile creatures making their nests in these woods here. Uh, perhaps they're sizing up their prey before striking. Perhaps they are. That sounds like a terrible thing. And there's a lot of woods around here. This is, uh, you guys are all gonna die. Good job. Oh, look at this guy. They're the, 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 the eunuchs. Which is not quite as uh, much about breaking your, 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 your carrot as much as not having it in the first place. Uh, I believe. I'm not sure. Maybe it is breaking. I, I, I've never studied that. Um, but we are going into the, into the, uh, forest. We are going into the forest. This is going to be fun. Because we need to go, you know, to the, the place where the brigands are. And, uh, well, that sounds like a... Sounds like a, a, a riot, obviously. Uh, and uh, that is a long journey. So, fortifications and many brigand thugs. Easy enough. I believe. Yeah, easy enough. And we start off in a good, in a pretty good place. So, let's just wait. Just wait him a turn. They do decide to leave their fortification, which is not necessarily ill-advised, considering that, uh, well, there's, it's, it's not, it's not badly considered. It's, it's good. So, uh, what are we gonna do? Is we're gonna move you over here. And spear wall. How about that? Uh, you're gonna stay over there. Everybody is gonna stay over there. You're not. You're gonna stay over here and spear wall. They're not gonna hit you, Fanius. They're not gonna get you, through you. Um, okay, so they don't have ranged combatants, which is their loss, really. My hit chances are relatively decent. 47. I hit once. Not too bad. And got Alias at the center. We're not doing Spear Wall at the, at the center because I do want them to go into the center. Uh, of course, that guy's going to be an issue. 
He's wisening up. Hmm. Hmm. They're waiting. Because they know. Haha! <laughs> See? Corralling them to the right place. I, uh, I'm happy with this. My Larkin might not be, though, but we'll find out. Okay, so that guy is behind cover. Uh, I shot, uh, let's shoot you, 55. That's a hit. Uh, this is still our first turn. You're still spearwalling. You're definitely still spe spearwalling. Now let's see what they do. Are they not gonna attack? How curious. Hmm. I don't know what the uh, the best strategy is in this situation. To attack now and just sort of... Because I want these guys to be on the higher ground. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to find out. That was an attempt at stunning. And uh, this is an attempt at killing. It didn't work. I mean, it worked well enough, but... Anyway, uh, Ilias, not going to spear wall. Hmm. Shield wall over there instead of attacking Mad Larkin. Not... Can't say it's a bad idea. That guy over there is dead. Hmm. Ilias now... Yeah, being the focus of attention, this is just how it goes. He doesn't have as good an arm. Don't break my shield! What a jerk! What a freaking jerk. Okay, so we want to save Ilias. 75, one miss, one hit. Very unfortunate. That's very unfortunate as well. Ilias! Oh my god. Mm. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I want you stunned. Do I have the right thing? Yes. And I want you hit. Um, so do I want to... Can I circle around? I can't circle around. So what I want to do is I want to say hi to you. And uh, teach you the good manners. So I want to go back there. Because I want to mess with him. Uh, you are dead. Everybody else is very unhappy. Uthuru can't do anything. Ilias can shield wall. And not release a dog. Although that might be a good idea. No, he can't release a dog. He actually needs to move. Look at that. There's a... No. There was a... Like a... Steps there. Hmm. Ilias saving himself a little bit. Good. Good, good. Okay. Attempted stunning. Not bad. That's a kill. That guy's very upset with us. Um, this is honestly going worse than it should be going. But, fortunately, that guy didn't hit again. But it's mostly down to Elias taking all the hits in the face. Ooh, everybody's breaking. Let's get a dog out here. No, let's not. Don't forget that the dog doesn't give me experience as far as I know. Uh, good. Miss. This guy is now fleeing. Ilias goes in, very exhausted, but <clears throat> but still gets the uh, the the kill. Fanny's uh, actually manages to move in. Nice kill there. Very straightforward. Uthuru goes in, just for peace of mind, but that wasn't needed. Okay, a lot of money out of that and beer. This is good. Maybe we're gonna get uh, the, the the event that people. Like when people like the food that we have, I think you need to have like four different types of food. It's it's quite something, but the money definitely paid for the hurt. Nobody got injuries like permanent injuries. The not permanent injuries, the ones that are temporary. Uh, and Metal Arkin level up. Mm, I like it. Now, ooh, Metal Arkin with his resolve. Uh, I'm gonna need to go with melee defense there instead. Uh, now, Melarkin, what am I doing to you? I am giving you brawny. I'm probably doing the the same as always. You're gonna need to rotate, aren't you? Yeah, rotation is just so important. Gearhead with my hiccup. Gearhead is access. Oh, let's first. Ah, that's pretty decent. That is a uh, pretty decent level up right there. So, um, what do I want to give you? So you have the bullseye, but honestly, fast adaptation. Fast adaptation is really nice because it adds. Uh, it's a pretty good. It's pretty good. Fast adaptation is pretty awesome. Rally the troops is the one that the sergeants are gonna have. Uh, rotation, relentless. What is relentless? 
At time, uh, at all times, your initiative is reduced only by fifty percent of your accumulated. Yeah, it might be interesting, for, for, uh, um, archers. I don't think backstabber works for melee, melee. Yeah, or rather for ranged. Uh, it's specifically melee executioner. But honestly, crippling strikes might be really interesting for an archer, because that that means that. It used to be a lot more powerful. The crippling strikes used to. So let's go with fast adaptation. Because we're going to need it. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. We are going to need it. The only way you don't need that is if you're using a crossbowman. And then you, you, only really good archers or really good ranged combatants can use a uh, crossbow. Because a crossbow shoots only once. I mean, it can shoot twice, but it's it, it's kind of complicated. Uh, but we're out of time for the day. And we get a little bit of money, and they no longer have Amber's trade routes, and that's going to be it for this episode. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Battle Brothers. I really hope you've enjoyed it, and if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.